That guy was a mess. That guy was a train wreck. But, 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 I, 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 I. I am not going to join the chorus of those blasting former special prosecutor Robert Mueller for what is being described as his doddering or halting performance at two congressional hearings. Euphemisms to make the claim that he is losing it because of his age. Robert Mueller served as a Marine in Vietnam. He received a silver star for his heroism and a Purple Heart. He then served in the Justice Department at the highest levels. He deserves, he has earned our respect. His name has become a haunting adjective for an investigation into Donald Trump's alleged collusion with the Russians during the 2016 campaign that many had hoped would lead to impeachment proceedings. The hope was to get him in front of a national TV audience to breathe life back into the impeachment crusade. That didn't happen. In fact, he sucked the life out of the crusade. And the disappointment you hear from the media about Mueller's performance seems to have more to do with that than anything. Question, was the ball advanced? No, impeachment's over. They needed more fuel for any kind of impeachment effort. So look, on optics, this was a disaster. The disaster is the day that Mueller testified is the day that impeachment died. And Mueller may have done exactly what he wanted to do. You'll remember that Robert Mueller held a news conference just a few weeks ago when he said he didn't want to testify in front of Congress. And if he did, he would not opine, speculate, or comment beyond what was in the original report. And he reiterated that during his opening statement at the congressional hearings. As I said on May 29th, the report is my testimony, and I will stay within that text. And that is exactly what he did, saying over a hundred times, I defer to the report. And when anyone tried to twist his words, Mueller was more than up to the task of correcting them. The investigation found substantial evidence that when the president ordered Don McGahn to fire the special counsel and then lie about it, Donald Trump, one, committed an obstructive act, two, connected to an official proceeding, three, did so with corrupt intent. Those are the elements of obstruction of justice. This is the United States of America. No one is above the law. No one. The president must be held accountable one way or the other. But let me let me just say, I, if I might, I, I don't subscribe necessarily to your uh, the way you analyze that. I'm not saying it's out of the ballpark, but I'm not supportive of that a- analytical charge. Thank you. Thank you. I believe the doddering Robert Mueller just spanked you in front of a national audience, Congressman. Thank you, sir. May I have another? The point is that Robert Mueller was on point when he needed to be. Yes, he kept deferring to the report. Yes, he kept giving one word answers. Sometimes he seemed like he didn't know what was in the report in the first place. And he kept asking the questioners to repeat the questions. Can you repeat the question, sir? Mr. Mueller. Mr. Mueller, I'm over here. You're gonna have to repeat that for me. Uh, That uh, Ken Starr did what? I'm sorry. Can you repeat the last part of that question? And where are you reading from on that? I'm reading from my question. (laughs) Uh, then could you repeat it asking over and over to repeat questions especially when there's a strict time limit is a strategy often used by attorneys feigning that you can't hear is a strategy famously employed by Ronald Reagan when he didn't want to answer reporters questions Look, maybe the years did finally catch up with Robert Mueller. Maybe in a flash, he went from a renowned investigator and prosecutor and one of the most brilliant legal minds in the country to a doddering, senile old fool. All I know is that Robert Mueller warned Congress that it would be a waste of time to call him to testify. And he seemed to be doing everything to make darn sure that's exactly what happened. I'm sorry, could you again... Uh, repeat the question. I'm Larry Menti. We'll talk again soon. Uh, could you repeat that?